Hello everyone and welcome back. This is part 2 of the Jetpack tutorial where we will implement the fuel system. So let's get started right away. So this is where we left off and the first thing we will do is create the fuel slider. Create a new UI element, a slider. Go to slider and set it to the top left. Here we can drag it down a bit and make it a bit larger. Great. We don't need this handle. We can remove that. And we'll go to the fill area and change the color. Something perhaps greenish. Then when we increase it, it will look like this. You can see there's a bit missing here, so we need to change it, the size of it. So, in the game, it will look like this. Uh, slider. So when the fuel decreases, we will see that the slider goes down to zero. And when it's depleted, we won't be able to fly. Well, that's the point anyway, or the goal. So let's start with that. Let's create some variables again. Let's create a variable for the fuel. Realize field, private, float, how much fuel do we have? Equal to 100 for now. We need a variable for the current fuel. Private, float, current fuel amount. And in the wake, let's set current fuel equal to fuel. So that we have max from the beginning. We also need an, a, a reference to our mm, slider. So for that, we need to actually add UI here. Unity engine.ui. Otherwise, we can't use UI um, components. Okay, serialize field, private slider, um, fuel slider. All right. And here, let's set the fuel slider value to be equal to that of the current fuel divided by our fuel. So this will go from when current fuel is zero, this will become zero. When current fuel is equal to fuel, this will become one. So it will go between zero and one, which is the same as the value of the slide. All right, don't forget to add the slider to the slider variable. When we are flying, we should decrease the fuel. So current fuel, let's add another variable. Serialize field dot private float fuel burn rate. How fast are we burning the fuel? Let's set it to 20. Then we can, when we are flying, set current fuel minus equal fuel burn rate times time dot delta time. Now we should actually see the fuel bar deplete when we are flying. Great. Let's set it to deplete a bit faster. Fuel rate burn. Let's double it. All right, what happens if it's depleted? Well, right now nothing happens because we haven't made those. We haven't implemented it yet. Uh, let's start by making it refill when we are not flying. So when we are not flying, we should make the fuel refill. Fill fuel. And actually, it shouldn't be here because this um, 
it only happens if you are grounded as well so we should make a new one if we are not flying is flying then we should refill our fuel let's create this method private void refill fuel and the only thing this will do is if it checks if we, our current fuel is less than our max fuel uh, our fuel then we'll take so we need another variable then this is fuel refill rate instead let's put it to the same no current fuel plus equals refill rate fuel no refill fuel refill rate times time dot delta time all right let's try it out yeah now we can see that it depletes and then it refills again when we're not flying perfect but we also should punish the player if it um gets set to zero by first not making him able to fly and then also put a timer on or delay when it starts to refill again let's create two variables one or serialized field private float refill cool down so if we depleted it we should wait for this amount of seconds before um, refilling it again and then we also need not here a boolean variable a float have a boolean have fuel so if there's any few left then this is true or if we have depleted everything this will be set to false to begin with it's true so the first thing we can do now is to make him only be able to fly if he is pressing the left mouse button and if half fuel is equal to two and also we should only refill the fuel if he's not flying and there is fuel left because we want to use the cooldown we will come to that later but for now let's set it like this let's see now what happens if we deplete the uh, fuel let's crank it up a bit the burn rate so that it goes faster set it to 70 Um, oh, we forgot to actually set the have fuel to false at any time. So we need to check in the update method if current fuel is less than or equal to zero, then we set have fuel equals to false. Now it should actually work. Let's crank it up a bit more because it was and turn down the refill rate yeah, like that yeah you can see that it doesn't work anymore and we can see that the particle effect is still playing even though he's not flying so we should fix that particle effect is playing if we are pressing the fire button so we should add this or and we have to have fuel left and this it should stop playing if we have stopped pressing it or we have no fuel left so notice and here and or here let's try it again now we aren't flying and the particle effect is not playing perfect let's add the cooldown effect 
So if our fuel have depleted, you can check in the updates um, method. So if we have no fuel left, which means it's depleted, then okay, we need another variable. Uh, private float timer that it equal to zero. So if we have no few left, then we start ticking up timer timer plus equal time dot time dot delta time. And then if timer is larger than or equal to empty cooldown or um, fuel. What did we call it? Cool down. We feel cool down. Then uh, we set the half fuel equal to two again, and it should start refilling. But there is an issue with this because when we're reaching zero on the fuel, we set the fuel, half fuel to false, and then we will start counting up. And as soon as we set the half fuel to two again, the current fuel will still be zero. So this will run immediately after. So what we can do instead to fix this is to set this to less than zero. So we have to have negative fuel to, for it to be depleted. Then here we set the current fuel equal to zero. And remember to we set the timer as well. So now, if our fuel is depleted, we will wait for the timer to reach the cooldown. Then we will start refilling the fuel again. Okay, let's try it out. For now, the okay, we have to crank this up again. Let's put this to hundred. And now we have to wait two seconds. Let's. Put it to five so it's visible. So now it works, but when it's emptied, you can see that we have to wait. And now it started to tick up again. Perfect. I think we are actually done now. I don't think there's anything left to do. Um, yeah, he can fly and everything works um we haven't implemented any def scenarios for this but you can do that yourself you can use for instance collision dot relative force to determine if you fly into a obstacle uh, yeah. with a f velocity over a, a threshold then you will die or you could use an angle to determine if you're dead or not if you are uh, you're landing with an angle above perhaps 10 degrees, then you will die, or something like that. You can implement it yourself. But here's the jetpack with the fuel slider, and I hope you found it help helpful. So, see you again next time. Bye bye.